Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson, and I'm about to show you a 2009 Cobalt 262 Bow Rider with only 60 hours. to show you this boat that I have for sale here at Heartland Marine where I work. So I want to try to keep this video as short as I can. So we're going to do a butt seat test to see how much room there is on the inside. Check out the gel coat condition, check out the interior, and that'll be it. Let's get started right now. But first, I'd like to introduce our channel. I've been passionately selling boats for over 19 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you and your family enjoy boats and boating just as much as my family and I enjoy it. So thanks to the help of my staff here at Heartland Marine and my sons, we've been able to successfully upload hundreds of boat reviews, instructional operation, help, and how-to videos. I don't ask for anything in return, except for the opportunity to possibly help you find a boat in your time frame. So to stay up on everything Everybody we upload, click it. that subscribe button below and stay tuned. Nice. Now it's time for the butt seat test. The butt seat test is where I get in the boat and show you how much room there is for your friends and family. Hey. Chairs. We have one and two, three, four, five, I mean, six realistically, seven, eight. So you can easily put eight in the sole of your boat, which is the cockpit floor. Coming up into the bow, we have nine, 10, 11, 12. Now these seats fill in, that's how we get 12. They can come out and you could still get 12 because you could do two up here and actually give you a lot of leg room. If you're interested, interested to know how boat capacity ratings are given by manufacturers, down in the description below, I'll include a link to a video that explains that. Now let's look at the exterior of this beautiful Cobalt. Hey dad, that's a cool whip. All right, now we're gonna look at the gel coat condition. So here at Heartland Marine, we own our inventory. We buy trades and take trades. Every boat that comes in, we inspect, check, clean, and correct all before we sell it. Doesn't bother me to point out flaws. That allows me the ability to tell you what I can and can't, will and won't fix before I sell it. I found three, four, four small, I mean, this one doesn't look small, but it's a rub mark. Four small areas in the gel coat that will fix. And I'll point those all out. So that's one, if I forget, two is on the starboard side aft corner below the gunnel there. Dropping down whole side, keel, lifting strikes, reverse chine, all look wonderful. It's got the stainless steel bow scuff plate on the stem, stainless steel docking light housings, which are beautiful. The hole's a lot smaller for those too. If you ever see the ones with the plastic, that hole in there is enormous. Okay, 100% freshwater boat was a dealer trade on a fancy ski boat. So that was one, then I talked about two, three spots on the gel coat, then I counted these as four, all right? That looks worse in the video. So our eyes see at 30 frames per second and I shoot my videos at 120. So you're actually more likely to see imperfections on the video than you can with your own eye. Or, or it increases the severity of it. That's what I really should be saying. Either way, we'll fix that stuff. We have lights above the swim platform back here. Dual prop out drive. A little bit of touch up paint won't hurt that. It has just a touch of electrolysis. Dual prop drive. That drive completely covers, is covered by the ladder. Now we're gonna jump inside and take a look at these. Normally, I keep the camera and show the inside of these boats, but this is so beautiful. I wanted to have Mr. Marty, my brother-in-law, hold the camera and show me showing it to you. So I love this back here. We have a low water swim platform we're standing on. Now, when you're standing on this swim platform, it puts enough weight on it that the soles of your feet are wet, so kids can just swim right onto the boat. So port side, aft, you know, kids always want to grab stuff. They always want things, skis, noodles, swim chairs, whatever. You can put all that wet stuff in here in this huge compartment. That way you're not constantly dragging all those wet items in and out of the boat. Also back here, we have our ski tow bar. So we can hook this in. We can pull our wakeboarders, tube, burrs, knee boarders, slalom skiers, skiers, really whatever with this. 
For a boat this size, you almost have to drive it to really appreciate how smooth it planes. In the description down below, I'm gonna to include a link to a video where I test drive and take you out and drive this exact same model, not the same boat, the same model, just so you can really try to get a good experience of what it offers. Also back here, you have dual batteries with a switch. And the only benefit of that is if we stop the cove out, swim, listen to the radio, we can switch it to one or two. That way we have the other battery isolated to start the boat with. Coming into the walkthrough, which is to the starboard side, we have a remote control down here for the radio. One thing I like about this also, it's nice and deep. You have plenty of freeboard, and that's really a, a unique thing about this specific model. It is super deep and rides extremely well. Back to the whole coven out thing. This seat hinges for a nice backrest, so you can watch kids and critters play in the water or whatever you want to do. Your anchor light plugs in here to the port side so we don't get dizzy. You have a crazy deep storage compartment. How deep is it, Brandon? About I'm like 6'5", so let's put down just shaking it. No, it's pretty deep. And you also have a blower pump to blow up your tubes or whatever you want, and a fire extinguisher and some buoys in there. But it's a lot bigger than it looks because it comes up underneath the seat. Now, you always want to think, where am I going to put the cooler? Now, this does have kind of a built-in cooler design, although in my experience, since I've owned a 262 Cobalt, it doesn't keep it real cold. It does have a plug in it. You have an ice trash can here. But back here, underneath the carpet, you have another designed ice chest and this actually works a lot better. Now, once again, the boat just came in. It hasn't been cleaned. I just put it together because I love this model. So I love to make videos on these. I'm kind of jealous because this one's only got 60 hours on it. Uh, we're missing a lens here. Replacementboatlights.com has those. I have some in stock. Um, so that we don't have holes in the floor for a cockpit table. It's got the J-shaped hook, which is kind of a thing that Cobalt started. Two caption shears that swivel inside and both have the flip-up bolsters. Looking at the helm, you have an Asada steering wheel. Cup holders right below the driver. A little storage box, which you have to love. Now, Cobalt kind of went away with a full wood Bulbinga dash panels and went to just a single standalone panel with a leather wrap dash and these beautiful rocker switches right here, which turn our interior lights on. Bilge pump, blower. Everything I've touched in this boat works, by the way. And I know as a buyer you expect that, but that's not always the case as soon as we get a boat in. In the floor midship, we have great big, great, great big ski locker. It's got gas assisted struts to hold it up. Marty, get in here with me. <laughs> Just kidding, that'd be awkward. We also have our anchor light and the extension arms for our bimini top. What I mean by that is this slides forward, has extension arms and you twist them to tighten them. Okay. To the, got my finger in there. Port side, once again, we have a CD player, more storage. I call this the mom box. My wife always takes our phones, wallets, anything we feel is important and hides them in here so we don't get them wet. This is a place for a toilet. There's no toilet in it. It's got a great big full mooring cover and it's a beautiful area. If you want to add a porta potty, they're about $50. Right here, we have a wind block door. And I know this is just a small thing, but in my boat, and a lot of these I've seen, this doesn't line up to hold it. So again, it's tiny, but it's very frustrating if you're trying to shut this door and you can't get it to line up. Cobalt also squared off the windshield in this model. So it really opens up the sole of the boat, which is a cockpit tour. Coming into the bow, all the carpeting snaps out once again. Huge storage compartment right here above the helm. I can get down, I can get down in there all the way too, but I'm not gonna do it. So you have another cover, that's where your table stores. Again, these cushions come out. Uh, right up here, dead center bow. Great big storage compartment. And one thing I always talk about when I can is the back of all these seats are in nice shape. That means the boat was stored well. I love how they wrap the leather inside the gunnels. Great big strong cleats, anchor locker, and based on condition, I don't think there's ever been an anchor in there. It's pretty darn clean. This is even shiny underneath with a gas assisted strut. Well, now I'm gonna show you that motor. So that we have less things to break. We have a manual engine hatch, so we just lift it up. We have two very strong shocks that hold up the engine. So once again, for a boat that has not been detailed, this is really what you hope to look at or find when you pop that hatch open. 
Once again, it's only got 60.5 hours, 8.1 GI Volvo, 370, 375 horse, depending on what salesman you talk to that day. It's a great engine, pushes this boat extremely well. I have sold these with 6.2s, 377 mags, 5.7 GXIs, which are 320 horse, and, and it does truly run fine. But what you'll find with the big buck is when you are running, you're running really fine. You have a lower RPM to reach a nice cruise speed with a boatload of people. And with this awesome seating configuration, you can take a lot of people with you. Once again, it's rated for 15. Well, my name's Brandon. Thank you for letting me show you this book. What else was I going to say? Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the water. Models, popping bottles.